Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna run through the top three email flows you should be using for your D2C brand. If you're not using these, you are missing out 100%. So let's dive in and I'll share my screen. Okay, so what are the big three flows? The big three flows are the welcome series, the abandoned checkout series, and the post-purchase flows. I'm gonna dive into each one of these and I'm gonna show you the purpose of each one, the goal of each one, the minimum standards you wanna hit for your brand for each one of these, and then how to build and optimize these flows as well. So the first one is the welcome series. So the purpose of the welcome series is to welcome people to your brand and also give them the offer that you used in your opt-in to get them to sign up, i.e. if it's a temporary percent off or ten dollars off you want to use that and give that to them here we're just trying to intro people to the brand here now our main goal here is to build status trust which would be like reviews or big promises behind the scenes and belief and belief would be results or comparisons and use cases in order to make them purchase now the minimum standards that we want to have for our welcome series is going to be a minimum of three emails in the flow up to six, 10, or even 12. You need to change the content. This is really important though. It can't just be like 10% off, 10% off, get your 10% off, get your 10% off. Content within each email needs to change. The open rate should be 30 to 50% minimum. Sometimes we see as high as 70% here. And then the click rates should be about 15% on the first email. Now, in terms of actually building this out, you need a pop-up uh, and that pop-up needs to go to a list. And then and the welcome flow is triggered by someone subscribing to that list. Okay, so I'm gonna dive in and show you how to build this out on Klaviyo. So effectively, we're gonna to wanna to have the trigger of when someone subscribes to our email newsletter, which is the newsletter and the list that we're using for the opt-in which is really important. We'll have our flow filters, which is added to cart zero times, started checkout zero times, and placed order zero times since starting this flow. And then we'll have our first welcome email, which is just gonna really be like a, hey, welcome, happy to have you here. Here's the offer that we promised you when you signed up. We'll wait a day. We'll then send them another email, which is again, like digging a little bit more into the brand story. We might talk about USPs here. Again, we wanna highlight that discount code. And then the third is gonna be building a little bit more trust here, right? So what people are saying we're going to leave reviews we might give them some product recommendations and again we're going to be featuring that initial discount okay so how do you optimize the welcome series well the welcome series is fed in from the opt-in so it's really important to test different offers in the opt-in to see which offer is performing best in terms of an opt-in rate but also in terms of getting people to purchase after they've opted in too right so things you might want to test here is like a free gift versus free shipping versus twenty dollars off versus ten percent off i would also recommend testing different subject lines and then also increasing the quantity of emails being sent so you can see we just started working with this client so we're starting with three but we might build that out to four or six or ten even especially if it's a longer buying cycle okay so the next flow is the abandoned checkout flow now the purpose of the abandoned checkout flow is to remind the customer of the items they left behind and a bonus here is if you can showcase trust and credibility ie reviews and testimonials the main thing you want to do here is handle one of their core objections so it's either status, trust, or belief, or one of the reasons that they might have abandoned their cart. So again, the goal here is to address these things. Could be if it's shipping or hidden costs, you might want to display your fees in the cart. If it's poor return policy, you want to make sure that return policy is super clear. You can have this highlighted in your abandoned checkout emails as well. If you've got a great return policy, like 30 day, you know, free returns, that type of thing. Three is if you've got a complicated checkout, um, if you're not on Shopify, allow guest checkout. If you're not on Shopify, why are you not on Shopify? The fourth one here would be payment processing. So if you just don't have enough payment options, again, this can be something to highlight as well. And then the fifth thing here is quality and satisfaction. So again, you can showcase satisfaction guarantee or a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not happy. That type of thing can really do a lot to basically just like eliminate some of their potential objections. Now, in terms of minimum standards here, you're gonna wanna have a minimum of three emails in the flow. Your open rate should be at least 50% minimum, especially on the first one. And your click rate should be 15 plus percent on the first as well. Now, in terms of how to actually build this out on Klaviyo, I'll show you how to build this out. So effectively, what we want to do is we want to start the trigger when someone started checkout. We want our flow filters to be they haven't placed an order, i.e. like they're not getting this after they placed an order, which would be awkward. 
uh, and they haven't been in the flow for 30 days. Now, the other thing that we do is we want to split test send times as well. So typically what we'll do is we'll have a one hour wait and then we'll do a conditional split for a two hour and a four hour wait. So kind of like what I mentioned here, you'll basically just have a one to four hour test and we want to test this out when we're building this out too. So we'd have the exact same emails, the exact same delays after that, but effectively what we'd have is three different flows at three different send times. Now, what we want to do here again in that first email is just to remind people about what they're missing out on. The second, we're going to have a, again, kind of quick reminder here. And we're also going to want to touch on some product reviews and that type of thing. And then the third is just kind of creating some urgency. Now with some clients, we actually build this out as far as like four or five or six emails. And we would typically segment this out. We'd have three initially. And then how we'd kind of segment this out further is have a conditional split. And we basically just say, I'll show you how to build this out here. Conditional split here. And then the conditional split would be they've purchased. So what someone has or hasn't done, person has placed an order at least once overall time. And if the answer is yes, then they exit the flow. But the answer is no, then they go into additional three email flow, where effectively, they're just getting a little bit more urgency, they might get a special offer, right? Because if someone's purchased already, we don't necessarily want to give them some other special offer. But if someone has not purchased, we want to give them that special offer here. Okay, so the third email flow of the big three is going to be the post purchase thank you flow. Now, this is really, really important and most brands get this one wrong. What we want to do here is make sure the customer actually achieves their desired result. A lot of brands, and I just experienced this yesterday, and I had a brand reach out to me the day after I purchased and said, hey, do you want to leave a review? I'm like, dude, I haven't even got your product yet. I don't even know if I like it, right? And if you don't like the product, if you haven't received the product, how can you leave a review? Just like be thoughtful with these things, you know? So what we want to do in this email is email one, just show genuine gratitude and thank the customer. Email two will often try to kind of get them stoked, get them excited. And then email three will give them consumption tips or educational tips or just tips on how to get their desired result. What we do as well, like we might have like a product review flow or a join the community flow or a cross seller upsell flow. We'll have this, but we'll have it in a separate flow just to make sure like this is our objective. Our objective here is to make sure that the customer actually achieves their desired result. So with that said, the minimum standards you want to have for this flow is going to be number one, at least two to three emails in the flow, your open rate should be 50% or more. And then your click rate should be four to 5% on the first again, it depends on the structure. And it depends on if you do have something in there to click or if it's just like, hey, thank you. Now in terms of actually building out the thank you series, here's how you build it out on Clavio. Okay, so in terms of how to actually build this out, the trigger we're going to want to have is that they've placed an order, the filters we want to have on this flow is going to be they've refunded the order zero times, and they've canceled the order zero times, we don't want people who have just refunded to get this thank you series series, right? We're going to wait for a day. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a conditional split. And what we're doing here is we're splitting out people who have purchased once or repeat buyers, right? So the people who have purchased once go down this and receive this flow. And then the people who have purchased more than once receive this flow. So the first email, typically, like I said, we're going to have a gratitude email and a thank you email. The second email is really going to be more so like, hey, here's how you can get the most out of this product. Let's get you hyped up. Let's get you excited to perceive your product. And then the third is going to be, hey, here's some style tips. Like for this client, we have some style tips or here's how to use the product or here's consumption tips or here's how to get the most out of your product. So these are the big three email flows that you're going to want to use for your D2C brand. If you're not using these, make sure you set them up. If this did help you, feel free to like and subscribe. It really does help out. And if you do have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much.